Good morning, afternoon. I'm the Mainly Digger. And uh, yeah, horrible weather today. I actually went out. Like, it's not that cold. Like, the ground is probably not frozen. But I get out, I got a shovel, or I got a snow, like, move snow out of the way. It wasn't really shoveling, it was more like throwing ice. Um, help a lot of people get out of their driveways. Um, I get to my spot, I get to the Kennedy Estates, and then uh, I drive up where I normally drive up. And it, like, it really it dawns on me that I'm, I need to make sure I don't get stuck. Um, so I try to get out. About an hour later, I, I shovel my way out. So I was like, eh, yeah. Um, long story short, short, my back kind of hurts right now. Uh, I'll be, it's, it's wintertime pains, whatever. I didn't, I didn't go with the main rule of law. If you're over 30 to, to shovel, you need at least two beers in you. Like that's, it's like, I thought at first it was stupid. It like, you got to, it's a must. Um, so what this, this video is actually about is, uh, is unknown places in Maine or not unknown, but like places that you should go to that if you like snowmobiling, if you like hunting, if you like fishing, everybody always goes to the coast and thinks, oh, this is Maine. You know, that's a part of Maine. That's not actually like, there's more to Maine than just Casco Bay and, and Acadia National Park and, and those places. Those places are great and beautiful, but like, this is, what I'm about to tell you is a different part of Maine. It's, it's something else. Like, it's, like, I'm telling you, there's so many trails in Maine, like, like, not even lying, like, there's snowmobiles in, tra- in, in Maine that lead all over the state. They're trails, like, they're actually, like, kept trails that uh, these snowmobile clubs, like, take care of during the, the, the summer months. And then even in the winter months, they, it turn, they, they're pretty much snowmobile highways that you need to go on. They're good for hunting. They're good for hiking. They're good for different spots. Um, so yeah, pretty much this is places you need to go in Maine. But also what I noticed is that I forgot what snowmobile highway trail it goes, but like it follows, the trail follows these places. It's a little thing I found in my research. So our first place that you absolutely need to go is Mount Katahdin um, and Baxter State Park. Baxter State Park is a part of Mount Katahdin. Uh, it is the highest mountain in Maine. It is an amazing place. Like it's, it is something else. Just to climb it, it is the highest point on the the Appalachian Trail. Um, most people don't start there when they they walk the Appalachian Trail or hike the Appalachian Trail. They mostly start in Georgia, but um, like it, like. It is an amazing place. It just is. The the knife point. I could go on about Catan forever. Um, it was first written about in 1689 um, by a, I'm trying to find his name, uh, John Giles. And he, uh, he was, he wrote a book. I forgot what the book's called, but he was, he was captured in Portland, Maine by a Native American tribe that Abenakis. I hope I said that not right. I apologize if I didn't. Um, and like he, they took him on hunting ep- expeditions up the mountain multiple times or up the streams. And he saw the mountain. He was either freed or released or something like that. And then, um, he, like he mentioned, he started telling people all about it because M- Mount Katahdin is amazing. And most people in Maine don't say Mount Katahdin. They just say Katahdin. And everybody knows what you're talking about. Um the Allagashes are number two. Oh man, like it is, like I've been up there a couple of times, uh, bird hunting, partridge hunting, and like I think there's like one or two ways to get in there. And it, it's, off, it's off of, it, it's in Aroostook County. Um, of course I didn't write, uh, I think it's Millinocket uh, is where you can get in there. And it's, it's, it's a reserve. It's a uh, wildlife reserve, pretty much. But you can go hunting and fishing on it. But you go up there, there's a gate that you go into. You about, This was like 15 years ago, 20 years ago. You put fifth, like three or four dollars in there per person, and you can just go like and go forever. You will not, not see anybody on that road for miles and miles and miles. 
Um, nowadays, you'll probably see a, a, a Border Patrol agent, um, you know, maybe a game warden. Even game wardens, like, they stay hidden. Uh, it is, because it's, it's kind of like a no man's land out there. Like, there's the rule of law, and then there's the Allagash. And, like, you may not get caught, and you may get caught. Or you think you, you're doing something dirty, and, like, all of a sudden a game warden walks up on you. You never know. You never know. Um, you'll see things out there that that amaze you. Absolutely amaze you. Um, the Allagash is is amazing. There's over. Let me see. It encompasses the the water gas. It's a it's a waterway. Um, in the '60s, they uh, they made it into a nature preserve or something like that. They they were passing laws to to preserve the wilderness area of that, of the Allagash. Um, there is over nine or 92.5, uh, river miles. It encompasses 92.5 river miles. That's a lot of waterways. It's a lot of, a lot of woods. It's an amazing place. There's snowmobile trails that go through there. There's hiking trails, there's hunting, there's fishing, um, logging trails. You gotta be like logging is, is big in Maine, huge in Maine. It always has been. Um, you, you got to give way for those loggers cause they don't slow down. Like that's their business. That's what they do. So you hear, you hear a big truck coming, get out of the way cause they, they're not slowing down and it's hard for them to slow down. Um, our third one is hole upon my dad used to take me up there as a kid. It is. So there's Jackman, which is, is on highway 201 and Jackman's another one that I'll go over after hole upon. 201 and then like right around Jackman there's the turnoff point and it's Hole Upon is 11 miles in um it is extremely close to Canada like extremely close but there's like a, the only people the only thing you're going to see up there during uh, well you're going to see a lot of, during deer hunting you're going to see a lot of deer hunters but like you're gonna, the only thing you can see is loggers and logging trucks, and they may stop, they may not stop, to say hi, you don't know. Um, trapping, hunting, fishing, uh, snowmobiling, all of that, all of that in that area. It is a huge area. Um, there's actually a Holub Holub Pond Town or Holub Town, um, and it it's spelled H O L E B, a uh, Holub. Um, and by a town, I mean a couple of buildings. And there's an actually an, an airstrip. Uh, you can rent out like a cabin up there, or my dad even like he how we found it. The, 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 this is how we found it. We were hunting. We were bird hunting, walking through the woods, and uh, all of a sudden we come up on on the um, a whole bunch of buildings. And my dad opens up the map and he's like, "This this isn't on the map." So someone. Uh, being like seeing two lost people, someone walks up to us and starts talking to us about life in general, asking us what we're doing there. And then we explain we're kind of lost, you know, the road's that way. Uh, there's a whole upon road that runs all over. And they, I mean, they understood, they see it all the time. Um, and he explained to us, like he pretty much is a caretaker of this small couple of buildings. Um, and like people come up seasonally uh, they rent out cabins to hunters and, and fishermen and hikers and stuff like that. And he he let us stay in his, like, it wasn't a cab, it was it was a shack, but or like, a, I'd say a garage type thing. And he's like, ah, go ahead, stay there. You need something to eat, come get me. And, like, nicest person I've ever met. And you'll see a lot of people like that in Maine on the trails. Uh, they're just nice people. Like, they they have enough to, to for themselves and they can give whatever they can to anybody else. Um, but yeah, Hole Upon is something else. It is amazing up there. They have a, a couple of campsites. Like when you go into Jackman, you go to the fire station, or not fire station, uh, ranger station. It's a built, small building. And on the side of the ranger station, they have a, a spot where you look who's, like if there's anybody that's um, taken up a camping spot, Whatever camping spot is not taken up, you register for, and um, it doesn't cost anything. Um, yeah, so that brings us to our fourth place, Jackman, Maine. It is, it's, it's a supply point, I guess. Now nowadays, it's a supply point for, 
for hunters and fishing, outdoormen, outdoorsmen, hiking. Um, like, that's what it is. Like, there's there's a population of 80, 862 people in, that was in 2010. It was established in 1889 uh, because of the railroad. It was a, a stopping point or logistic stopping point, supply point for the railroad in Maine. And that's, that railroads in Maine are huge, especially historically. Like, it was easier to go get stuff on to Maine, through Maine, on the railways um, and waterways versus taking a, a horse and buggy up there. Um, and people, too. That's how people moved around back then in Maine is, is the railways. Uh, yeah, Jackman's beautiful. It's it's just gorgeous. That's that's all there is to it. But, yeah, that's those are those are my four. I'm, I'm working on my next ones. So I had a, the reason why I stopped, I had to make a decision on how much information I was going to give you all. So I'm not going to go to 10, I'll go to 7, and I'll try to explain why. So our fifth one is Rangeley, Maine. Um, Rangeley, Maine is in the Western Mountains. It's actually, it's close to New Hampshire. To get to Rangeley, uh, and Rangeley Lake, and the town of Rangeley, you, there's a couple of different ways. You can take Route 2 if you're going through Maine, or you can take... 195 um, or I-95 excuse me I-95 either way it's going to lead you through Rumford don't pay attention to anything Rumford at all like Rumford is an old mill town it's it's not my favorite town I'll just say that it's kind of disgusting it smells um, paper mill towns smell they just smell it's a pungent sulfuric smell um, it's just dirty it's just dirty don't just that's not Maine. Um, so yeah, it was built or it was bought from Massachusetts in 1795. Huge tract of land. Um, James Rangeley inherited inherited it from his father, who bought it in 1796. I couldn't find his father's name. Um, in 1855, it became a town. Uh, it had it was a huge mill town, grizzle mill town. Um, and it became well. It was a pretty much, and the railroad came in, so it was like another logistical stopping point. And it, it kind of grew, like it, like it's a beautiful spot. Uh, later on, uh, there's Saddleback Mountain, which became a uh, a resort, a ski resort, and that adds to like the the incoming tourists to Rangeley. Um, it's there's I went up there. I went on Rangeley Lake for when I was 15 for uh, salmon. We went fa- salmon fishing, and we caught three or four. He- very large landlocked salmon. Oh man, it was a good time. It was, it was really good. Um, for guides, for fishing guides, it's about a hundred bucks per day. Um, there's cabins, uh, houses, places you can rent, campsites. Uh, there's a couple of campgrounds there that you can go. Um, there's the Rangeley Lake, uh, res- not resort, uh, park, uh, national park. A very beautiful place hunting like I said hunting fish all, all of Maine is hunting and fishing and trapping and hiking and stuff like that the Appalachian Trail goes through there um, but yeah it is it like I said it's on the Western Mountains you can get through get there through New Hampshire um, or route, uh, route 2 through if you go through Maine uh, from Farmington um, so like these the number six and kind of number seven i kind of i kind of combined the combined the rivers or streams um because they they go all through these streams go through all all through maine um sandy river is mostly it's mostly in farmington if you don't know about farmington it's a college town um there's not a lot of tourism in farmington but there's a lot of i guess college Tourism, like college students go there, their parents go there. Um, a lot of history in Farmington. There's a h- whole bunch of history in Farmington. Uh, milling, logging. Um, my uh, my wife's uh, grandfather, or her family, her her father's family comes from that area, and they still have a, an old old farm there. And I can't wait to go metal detecting on it. That's I've, I've, I'm getting there. I'm, I'm convincing him slowly. 
uh, her, her grandfather's still alive. So it's a slow convincing. Um, but yeah, it's uh, snowmobile trails. Uh, snowmobile trails, especially in Farmington, goes straight through there. Um, but Sandy River, it's a beautiful river. It's shallow in most parts. Um, a lot of rapids. I wouldn't say rapids, shallow rapids, I guess. Uh, a lot of good salmon fishing in there. A lot of good fly fishing, um, fishing in general. Um, but yeah, and then our last one, uh, number seven, is the Swift River. Um, this the Swift River is known for for gold mining. Uh, if on Route Two going from Farmington to um, Rumford. You, you go through a lot of small towns. Um, Jay, which is another mill town. Uh, East Dixfield, uh, Dixfield. Dixfield is where my dad lives, currently lives now. Um, very small towns. Uh, you'll hit Mexico. Don't stop in Mexico at all. Don't Just don't. Just go straight through it. Uh, not worth um, stopping. Um Trying to think. And then you'll hit Rumford, and uh, but in between there, I think, I think it's in, May, or Peru. Peru's not like it's, it's a town, but it's not a town. It's anyway, it's a very small town. It's it's either there's a jump stop, or a stop on the side of the road on route two, to, between Rumford, and Dixfield. Um, I think it's either at, I think it's after Mexico. But it's, or before. Anyway, it's it's, bef it's before. But it's a gem stop. I, it's probably called a gem stop. I forgot what it's called. It's been there for decades. And it's, um, you go in there, it, there's parking. You go in the shop. They tell you some different spots um, to hit. But it's also like a scenic spot. Because uh, you can actually go off and go in the, the stream. It's, it's a stream. It really is. Um, but there's different stuff. Everybody, like anybody who does um, gold mining has their, you know, prospecting has their spots that, the, that they will or will not tell you about. Um, it's a very, like, it's a very beautiful spot. Just like if you're traveling and you need to stop, go ahead and stop there. Uh, other, I'm trying to think if there's anything, there's so many spots in Maine that, like, I could mention. Uh, okay, we'll go Rangeley, scenic routes. I, I know I've already done Rangeley, but once you, you, like, leave Rum Rumford it's pretty mountainous and you go over some weird weird roads and stuff like that up a mountain and and um narrow the roads are very narrow but it's uh you'll come to Rangeley Lake and it like it is probably the most odd like breathtaking sight because you, you'll drive and you'll drive and then all of a sudden it's like you you come up over a hill and it's like on a mountain so you're curving around I'm using my hands a lot but like you pull off and like you can see Rangeley for like miles like it looks like it goes on for miles and when the the sun sets like you can't tell the difference between where the land meets and where you know the 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 sun starts like it's amazing it's an amazing sight um but yeah uh my I mentioned my dad used to be a hunting and fishing guide uh after you take people hunting or fishing and they were done for the day that we used to drive them on that road uh, to go look for moose. And not well, it wasn't during moose season, but like during the summertime. So normally fall or summertime, um, the uh, the moose want to get away from the bugs because uh, the black black flies and mosquitoes are bad in Maine. And in in, if you get in the woods, so they go onto the road. So you got to be careful. But you also see a lot of moose. Um, people pay big money just to go drive around and see moose. It's, it's, it just seems funny to me. But, yeah, uh, hopefully I'll get digging sometime soon. Um, but, yeah, I love, I love talking about Maine. If you can't tell, I love talking about Maine. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Like, subscribe to my channel. Um, I don't know when I'm going to go live again. But, yeah, all right, mainly dig out.